Hello. Um, in this video, uh, I'll try to show how to compute anthropometric indices using WHO Anthro. So WHO Anthro is a software that's used on desktop uh, or laptops using uh, Microsoft Windows. It's, it was developed to facilitate application of the WHO child growth standards in monitoring growth and motor development in individuals and population of uh, children up to five years of age. So using WHO intro, we can uh, we can import our anthropometric data such as weight, height, um, we can import age data, MUAC data and other anthropometric data uh, of uh, individuals or a population from a nutritional study. And we can compute uh, some of uh, the very important anthropometric indices, uh, such as weight for age, height for age, weight for height, BMI for age, MIAC for age are some of the examples. So um, I I will show some of the how to you know how to do this uh, this this how to compute uh, this indices using WHO intro. Actually, you can do it manually by calculating, but it will, you, this is impossible when it's for a research purpose where we have large number of measurements from under five children. So I have a data uh, that I will be using for for this uh, presentation. So uh, I have SPSS data, which is named as zone three survey. So usually researchers, nutrition researchers will have their data um, entry done using other software such as EP info or open data. And once they have their, their data uh, entry done, they will usually export it to SPACES or other softwares for analysis. So we will start with, uh, with SPACES data of uh, some anthropometric measurements, as uh, I think you can see here. Um, so we have here, um, so we have total cases of uh, around 380 and five children that were uh, assessed. And uh, if I move to the variable view, we have their data of their sex, date of birth, age in days, age in months, weight in kilogram, edema, yes, no. Recumbent, this is how they were uh, measured. The height was measured. It was, was it height or length that was measured? So it will be, if it is a recumbent, if length is measured, then we will code it as yes. And if it is height, it will be no. So these are the anthropometric data we have. We have data on um, edema. So, so what we do is um, we have to exp we have to save this SPSS data in a format that uh, WHO Anthro can read. So there are many uh, formats that uh, WHO Anthro can read, but I will be choosing um, eBase. So from so I will what I do is I go to file, I then I go to save as. Then after I go to save as, I make sure that 
um, I will find a folder where I want to save. So I will put it here in my desktop. I have a folder called Anthro Exercise. Then I want to keep the name of the file, but I want to change the format. Yeah, I want to save it in a different format. So I will go and just pick DBase and then save. So immediately what will happen is that we have a DBase version of our data in the folder we would like. So then I minimize this and then I have already downloaded WHO and so you can get this for free from internet, from WHO website or from any other source uh, in online. So I open, so I go to nutrition survey. Then I go to nutrition survey again here, then I click on import from file. So I will just browse, for example, uh, this is how it appears. So I have my, my file in WHO Anthro exercise. So, you know, in this folder, I have a spaces data, but because WHO Anthro does not recognize a spaces, it only recognizes the, the DBase. So I click on DBase data, then I say open. So now there is a pop out uh, of the field that I have to fill. So actually it, it has filled a lot of it already. So I'll check that the survey date is properly fit in. ID is already fit. Sex is already fit there. And date of birth, I fit here. Age in months, I have it here. Um, Edema is already fitted. Measurement, uh, whether it's recumbent or not. Height, uh, and then I don't have head circumference. I don't have new arc. I don't have triceps. And yeah, so this is all I have. So I make sure that I have the right variable in the right box. Uh, Yes, so I have everything, I have height, then I click OK. So it tells, it asks you if there are any problems. It says file zone three survey B5 was successfully imported, but one or more file were missing or contained invalid value. So we say OK. So immediately it it imports everything. So you can see here, it has imported the data. And yeah, so this is what we are looking for. So it has already computed weight for height C, a height for H C, weight for H C, and BMI for H, and so on. And also, if there are any abnormal values, then we have the flag system already established. So some of the yeah, so some of these are not computed. So there are flags as well. So we already got our data converted, or we have the indices calculated for all of our cases that are eligible. So once we have this, what we do is um, we click on this and then we select all of them by uh, pressing Control A, so everything is selected. Then we here we cl click to copy it to the clipboard. So all the data is co uh, copied. So we minimize this and we look for Excel. We open Excel workbook. So we just open an empty Excel, then we click our data there. Right there, we have everything. So we have everything here complete. So 
Um, so we already have this, the date, uh, the ID is what we need. We have the, you know, the, a, the measurements, the age, height, weight measurements are already in spaces. So we don't need to, so once we have this in Excel, what we next do is we have to export this into spaces or we can go to spaces and import uh, this the the indices the three in the four indices and the flag should be imported to spaces so actually we already have this data in spaces so we don't need but we need a variable that will help us to merge. So we accept the ID, we remove all other data, which is already in spaces. So we, we remove this. So we make sure that we don't delete the, the indices that we need badly. So we delete this. And then we don't have this all. So we clear that to make it easy and look neat. Uh, sorry, what's wrong with it? Let me check. Uh, let me do it again. So it should just clear it. Yes. And then I think we don't need the cluster. And yeah, so we delete this. So what we need is the ID. We need the ID because it will be used to, to merge our our data. So this is an uh, uh, um, Excel file. So what we do is we save it in the right folder with uh, zone three anthropometric indices. So we can save like that. Don't, we don't have to forget the name, so we save it. Now we have this data ready to be. So we close this. So we go to spaces again. So what we do is we. This is our original data, uh, which we use to calculate the indices. So we, we have to uh, import or have the indices in SPSS format for us to merge and analyze. So what we do is we go, we open our SPSS, go to file. So open, so we want to open a data. Uh, so we want to, we, Okay, so we want to go to, so we, we see here, uh, so we go to the right folder. So we, we know where we have saved, but you see, because the file that is visible is only spaces, we change, uh, we change this into all files, all files. So everything in the folder becomes visible. So this is the Excel form of the indices we have computed in WHO Anthro and saved it as Excel file. So we select it and we say open. So it will take a while. So we say, okay. So here we have our data in spaces, right? All the indices and the flag. So we save this, save us. We can use the same name, zone three, and throw indices, and then Save. 
then we can minimize both of them. So if I open the folder, here you can see we have two, two SPSS uh, files. One is the original data of may height and weight measurement and other important data. And then we have the indices in another file. So to analyze, we need to have a single SPSS, uh, SPSS file. So what we do is we just open one of them. So we open the original one. So this one. And then what we do is because this, this is a data, original data that we measured. And then on the indices, we have the indices, the indices that we, we developed using the VH1 flow. And what the two SS SPSS files have in common is the ID. So the ID is a merger variable. Here, so what we do is we select the merger variable, which is the ID, and then put it in ascending order. Put it in ascending order. So we also do the same in the indices. So we put it in ascending order. So they have to have the same order. So once we do this, we can go to the main data and now we just merge them together. So here you can see, I go to file. No, so, sorry, I go to data. I go to data, I go to merge file. What we want to do is we want to add variables. Those variables are the indices in the other file. So we select that. So it already detects the open uh, SPSS file that contains the anthropometric indices. So we select it, we say continue. So it asks us by what will be the variable that will be helped as a match. So we use this. So that's the key variable that is a matching variable. So we say, okay, once we match, so it will be, it will be adding so, for example, a file number, ID number 47 is a female, so the anthropometric indices of number 47 will be added as additional variable. So we click OK. So, perfect. So here you can see that the indices is added to the original measurement. If you see to the variable view, so we have added these five variables that we developed by using the VHO intro into the main data. Now our data is complete and ready for analysis. Um, I hope this, so we, we have to actually make sure that we save this. Uh, sorry, we just save it, save. So it will save. So we close everything. So I hope this should help you in, in managing your, your data.